Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Cancer Zappers. In the previous video, I talked about how the linear accelerator works. I just hope from that you're able to get the big picture of some of the basic uh, techniques that we do use in the radiation oncology clinic. Um, going forward, I am going to break things down um, just so that uh, we can kind of understand some of the other processes that happen in the, in the clinic. Some of the major questions that came up are whether um, the patient just lies on the couch and does nothing. And the answer to that is pretty much yes. I mean, the patient lies on the couch and the machine is what does most of the work. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about some of the things, the processes that the patient has to go through before they get to the point at which they're actually on the treatment couch. So hopefully you stay tuned and you enjoy this video. Thanks. To put it all together, let's take a look at the overall flow within a typical radiation oncology clinic. First, the patient gets consulted by the physician. Then they may be instructed to get a picture taken of their insides. That's the purpose of a CAT scan or a CT scan. A CT scanner takes pictures of thin slices within the body, also using x-rays, and special software bring these slices together to create a volume so that we can recognize whole organs and determine the density of the tumor in different organs nearby. This process is simulation. And in this part, the patient must lie as still as possible while the CT is being performed so that patient's exact position can be reproduced on the days that they will be treated. During this stage, no treatment is performed yet. The patient, however, needs to go through this stage so that their treatment can be planned. Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> 